So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out and replace this old pump with the Superflow VS. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is make sure the breaker is off to the pump. Okay, for this job, you're gonna need some fittings, some elbows, some couplings. You're also gonna need a cutting tool of some kind. I like using this pipe cutter. You can also use a hacksaw. You'll need some primer, and you'll need some PVC cement. You'll need a Sharpie to mark where you're gonna cut the pipes, and also a tape measure to measure the exact measurements of the pipe connections. The pump already comes with the union, so you don't need to get these unions. You're also gonna need some PVC pipe, depending on the size of your plumbing. This pool here is one and a half inch plumbing, so all the fittings and all the pipes are one and a half inch. I'm also gonna be installing the FlowWiz flow meter at this pool. That way I can set the pump to get the exact runtime to get the most energy efficiency out of it. This is a one and a half inch FlowWiz. Since these pipes are pretty old and brittle, I'm gonna go ahead and use a hacksaw. That way I don't snap the pipes as I'm cutting. I'm gonna cut this one right here. Okay, I have that one cut right there. I'll make my second cut up here on the back wash valve. Okay, I have that one cut through. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pump. So since this is the only viable place to put the pump on the cement pad, I can't mount it where the old pump was because it was all rusted. I don't want to put it down there either because that's where the water runs, so it'll damage the pump. To make things easy, I went ahead and marked my tape measure where the fittings are gonna go into the one and a half inch elbows and couplings. So you can see here that I'm gonna put the pipe in to that Sharpie mark. So when I measure the PVC pipe, that's the mark I'm gonna use to slide the pipe into here. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread the union on the front of the pump. It slides in like this. Make sure you have the O-ring in here. So go ahead and thread it on. So I'm gonna put an elbow here. Then I'm gonna put a 45 coming out of the front of the pump over here. And then I'm gonna add another 45 to the elbow so that I can connect the pump to this pipe together. Let me go ahead and cut this pipe. Okay, so this piece will go into the flow vis. I'm gonna do a dry fitting. Then I'm gonna slide it in here. Okay, the pipe will go a little bit deeper inside the flow vis. It goes about one and a half inches in. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my equation when I calculate how much pipe to cut. Let me check the dry fitting. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this here so I know I'm gonna put it at the right angle. I went ahead and marked the pipe here so I know I got it in the right spot. Okay, you wanna shake up the PVC cement. Definitely wanna wear gloves when you're using primer. I'm gonna apply the PVC cement. And I'm gonna put the fitting on in the mark. I'm gonna hold it for like 30 seconds so it has a good seal. And the flow vase goes in one direction. The flow goes this way. If you install it the wrong way, you can just unscrew this and reverse it. You get some primer in here. Some primer in here. You want to make sure the pipes are clean. Put some primer here. And some primer over here. Some PVC cement inside the pipe. And some here. Okay, I'm going to slide this in. Okay, I'll put some PVC cement inside the flow vis. Some here. Slide the flow vis on. So I put some primer here. I got some primer inside the elbow. Okay, now I'm gonna do the union so I can do the rest of the plumbing.
Okay, let me get the union on top. We'll do the dry fittings for the top of the pump. It's a good idea when you're doing the top of the pump to hold the O-ring with your finger, place it on top of the pump, and then bring the nut down and tighten it. Put an elbow here. Then I'm gonna bring another elbow here and connect it to the backwash. So I have a line up coming out of the backwash. I'm gonna bring it down right here over the pump. Let me go ahead and mark this. It's gonna be right there. If you make a mistake, just go ahead and cut a new PVC pipe. I carry a lot of extra pipe with me. So everything lines up with the dry fitting. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the pipe so I get the right angle. Okay, I'm gonna start up here at the backwash valve. Let me take the dry fittings apart. Okay, I'm lined up on my mark here. Okay, now I'm gonna take the union off. I'm gonna glue this pipe into the union here. Okay, put some primer in this elbow. Okay, it should go on there nice. So that's the plumbing of the Super Flow VS pump with the Flow VS in front of the pump. Okay, after 24 hours, I can turn the power back onto the pump. Okay, now you can remove the pump lid and we can prime it. Go ahead and put some water in here. Since I have the Flow VS in front of the pump, it's gonna act as the check valve, so it'll stop the flow of water. Okay, make sure the basket is seated in there. Put the lid on. Okay, go ahead and hit the start button, hit quick clean, then I'll run at the pre program time, and we can test the pump to make sure there's no leaks. Okay, if you got the unions on tight, the water should be all the way up in the pump lid, that means there's no air getting into the system. If you notice air in the lid, go ahead and just tighten the unions up, that's probably where it's coming in from. Okay, gave the pipe some spray paint so it looks really nice now, see everything is matching. And this is an okay location for the flow viz. The better location is right here coming out of the pump. Right here would have been a really good location. And the third location, which is the best, is coming out of the filter before the heater. So you can install it here for best results. And again, I added it in front of the pump so that it would act as a check valve when I take out the pump basket and clean it. You see the water's not evacuating. And that's why I like putting the flow is in front of the pump. There's no check valve. It makes cleaning the pump basket very easy.